Hi guys, so I'm going to talk about how we can control diabetes with our diet. It's doable and it's possible. How can we control diabetes with diet? Mm -hmm. Hello family, welcome to another beautiful edition of Annie Otter's channel. If this is your first day watching me, please hit the red button that says subscribe and you will be among the very first people that will be notified whenever I post something new. If you're a returning family, friend, fan, thank you so much. I love you, love you, love you, love you. All right, today's edition, I am going to be talking about diabetes. Uh -huh. Diabetes is one of the most common diseases in the whole world today. It doesn't matter who you are, your race, your financial status, where you live, it does not matter matter when diabetes hits it hits so i'm gonna talk briefly about what diabetes is and i will go a little bit in detail how you can control type 2 diabetes with diet mm -hmm. so please sit back and let's watch share like and comment okay guys so simply diabetes is a disease that affects how your body absorbs blood sugar mm -hmm. so we have two types of diabetes type 1 means the pancreas pancreas is an organ behind your stomach so the pancreas produces little or no insulin that's type 1 okay so type 2 means your pancreas is producing insulin but your body is not recognizing it mm -hmm. so insulin regulates the body blood sugar okay so insulin helps your body helps the body to push the sugar in the cells where they can be stored until they are needed but when the insulin is not when your body is not recognizing that the pancreas is producing the insulin it makes your blood sugar to go high because the sugar is floating all over the bloodstream and they are not going to the cells where they're supposed to go okay so how do you know you have diabetes what are the common signs and symptoms of diabetes? One, I would say frequent or excessive urination. Another one is blurry vision, excessive taste, unexplained hunger, uh, unexplained uh, weight, weight loss, fatigue or tiredness, numbness or pain or tingling to the fingers, headache or sexual dysfunction, non-healing wounds, you know, when something caught you doesn't heal, and frequent yeast infection okay these are the signs and symptoms of diabetes if you have any of this going on you need to go check out with your doctors go for a visit and see what is going on with your body how do we control diabetes with our diet as we all know diabetes is the leading cause one of the leading causes of blindness heart diseases high cholesterol limb amputations Mm -hmm. and kidney failures diabetes can cause all of those but how can we control diabetes with our diet i will tell you the number one thing you need to do is to increase your intake of green leafy vegetables when i say green leafy vegetables i'm talking about spinach ogo which is pumpkin leaves green water leaf these are green leafy vegetables increase the intake why because this food has low calories and it has low sugar in so you're not pumping more sugar into your system into the problem you already have so that problem you already have so that's why you need to increase your um green leafy vegetables intake and again this has a very high concentration of polyphenols so these polyphenols helps to control your blood sugar levels okay and it, they are also very very rich in folic acid which helps in insulin absorption number two whole grains when i talk about whole grains i'm thinking uh, this involves oatmeal belly millet popcorn so stay away from white rice if you have to eat rice please you have to be brown rice or dirty rice stay away from 
white rice if you are pre-diabetic or you are diabetic already white rice is not good for you white bread is not good for you you can eat whole grain bread that will also help you a lot so what does it do it helps in, in increasing the body insulin sensitivity okay and it has a whole lot of fiber which has helps in the in the digestive system all right so the next one you need to increase are the berries when i said the berries blueberry strawberry blackberry and um, raspberries okay so these are packed with antioxidants so the antioxidant it prevents uh spikes in in sugar levels and also pre helps in maintaining good glycemic index okay and and they serve as anti-inflammatory uh, it helps to fight infection in your system all right so what other food items can you increase beans dry beans those are excellent and i believe some of them are very cheap things like black eyed peas pinto beans kidney beans soul beans all these things are all over and they are high in protein so that means they are low in sugar and they are also very high in fiber again fiber helps in your digestive system it's, it's very very low in carbohydrate and also that will help you to lower your cholesterol and also control your sugar level mm -hmm. so the next one i want to talk about are the citrus so when i talk about citrus something like lime lemon orange these are very 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 good they are very high in vitamin c and they have a whole lot of anti-inflammatory properties okay so they will help you to fight the diseases and they also help you to maintain your blood sugar level so they have normal glycemic index so you Will not it will not cause your blood sugar to go too high or go too low it will just help to maintain the normal level and also help to fight infections in your system so citrus are high in folic acid so these are good for your system again these are the food you need to concentrate on if you're diabetic or you are pre-diabetic concentrate on green leafy vegetables whole grains berries beans and citrus Mm -hmm. all right guys so this is the much i'm discussing with you guys today if any author love you mm -hmm. bye guys